Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Ba-ding. Uh, TNT. Yo. I was reading an article that in uh, Australian zoos, um, they have had to stop feeding like red pandas and monkeys fruit because they've been g- genetically modified so much that like to be so sweet and all that that they're that they're not uh that they're causing them to like get fat and have tooth decay mm-hmm. like they're it said this and oddly enough they said they're not bad for humans but it's something about with animals the amount of fructose or something that's like in the thing it's not good for animals and uh so they've had to stop feeding them because it's like causing them to get fat and, and like their teeth to get all jacked up mm-hmm. because we've been modifying fruit to be more plump that is insane it, when you think about the amount of like modified fruit that there are, like the irradiated apples, the ones that like last for, for oh, I don't know for for what, oh yeah, I buy a bag of apples that'll sit in the fridge for like three months and not get the apples exactly. won't get soft at all. Like exactly. that's not that's not normal. normal. That's no. not normal. Nope. I actually, I I saw something the other day that might be of interest to you. It's like Ooh. I eat Brussels sprouts, right? You yeah. know this. I can eat a whole bag of Brussels sprouts, no problem. I saw that they have been genetically engineering Brussels sprouts I saw to that. be less bitter over years. And I was like, so they're not even as bad as the ones that I ate back when I was a kid. And that's why I'm like, okay. So I'm always always just like, you know, your taste buds change. No, no, no they're modifying it to taste better. That's crazy. Yeah. Also, on the same note, though. I am 100% ready for them to start making lettuce taste like cotton candy. Why can't they make chicken wings zero calorie? Or make something else taste like chicken wings. Is there another thing on a bone that I can rip it off and eat it that isn't calorically high? I wouldn't care if it was paste. I would eat a bowl of chicken wing paste. If but it's not it's that. not the flavor that I love. It's the fa- it's the crunchy ripping it off the bone that I enjoy. That's kind of like, you know. Barbaric? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean, yeah. I am a human. I'm a carnivore. No, I, really, you're not a flavor driven. You're like you're like big on. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm flavor driven on a lot of hands. other ish. You what? I'm a flavor driven on a lot of other stuff, but like chicken wings, man, it's like it's the act of like just the barbarianism. I don't know, man. For me, it's like a hundred percent flavor. If they could make salad taste like ice cream, I would eat salad all the time. I would fill up on salad. Yeah, why can't they just make anything taste like Taco Bell? And that's that isn't it's Taco like, Bell. And that's the thing is like if they can make apples last longer and taste sweeter, but not necessarily be bad for us, which I kind of kind of iffy on that like okay so it's bad for the animals because of the fructose but for us we're fine with uh, whatever yeah 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 but uh, they put enough uh plutonium in our water (laughs) yeah right that our teeth are fine oh the fluoride yeah Yeah, there is a little bit of fluoride in there um but yeah it's just very interesting it's like we can we're going towards that where we're going to start making food that is healthier taste better so that it becums a more viable option when you're flavor driven and that, that's healthy food is just harder to eat. What's that? Healthy food is just harder to eat. How, how so? Like, if I want, if I'm hungry, right? Yeah. And I could have like a good old salad. It takes me like forever to eat it. I gotta dress it. I gotta whatever. Like, or I could just eat a taco from Taco Bell. It takes two seconds. It tastes good. It's down my throat. <laughs> like, if they could, if they could make quick food healthy. Quick food's not healthy. That's the problem. Quick food is not healthy, no. no. And that's the problem. Even no. minute rice, not good for you. No, no, you're not right. I would eat you're I would just wrong. eat minute rice. I love rice. Rice is great. But like it's not good for you. No, you can't eat all rice. No, dude, no. I wish. <laughs> I didn't know you liked rice so much. I mean, I don't even like it that much. But <laughs> I don't know, man. You're making a pretty big <laughs> argument for rice. <laughs> Sounds like you're in bed with big rice out here. <laughs> Babe, me and Big Ben. <laughs> <laughs> me and Uncle Ben are just hanging out, uh-huh, dude. I'm, uh-huh. I'm, a, I'm a part owner. Stock. It. Stock this, options. This man finally got us a sponsor. He's not telling me about yeah. it. <laughs> I mean, you buy enough. Well, you used to buy, you used to buy up all the Uncle Ben's. <laughs> Now you buy the other kind, whatever it is, green oh, yeah. green acres. Uh, green acres. Oh yeah, I get mostly. Uh, yeah, I mostly eat like cauliflower and broccoli rice right now. So, yep. 
yeah, but yeah man i, I don't know what i don't i hate that everything's modified dude i don't even know what's real what i like i feel like i'm living in the matrix <laughs> essentially we are um but you know you gotta kind of invite our ai overlords man and i like i said i've been I'm, talking about it for the whole time we've been doing this podcast when it happens mm -hmm. you know what i'm gonna say remember when i said that that's what i'm gonna say I don't know what you're talking about. Smart TVs, smart couches, AI, all of it. I said it was coming. Oh, so you're going to be the guy that said, I said it was coming and it's here. Yep. Very helpful. You're, I bet I tried to put out the warning. Well, thank you, Captain Hindsight. Your superpower has come in. Isn't that what Captain Hindsight was? <laughs> I don't know. It sounds was, right. Yeah. He was like, oh, God, you guys should have listened to me. I'm uh, Captain Block and Isle. I stop in the middle of the <laughs> aisle with my cart. Yeah, I don't know. That guy, would, I mean, you will be that guy and you'll be right. But I'm that guy that's going to be like hanging out with the AI. Like, we should, like who cares? Yeah, we should kill him. Yeah, Sire. exactly. That's what's going to be. They're going to be like, he talked bad about us five years ago. Remember that? And I'm yeah. like, oh, dude, they right. do remember that. They've absorbed right. all of the world's knowledge. They know about the podcast. Exactly. God damn it. <laughs> they already know. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to be your pet. You ready to be AI's pet? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to be your bio pet. Just don't hurt me. We talked about this. When you have humans as pets, as slaves, that's I'm not. not no, because <laughs> I'm not not advocating that I become anyone's slave. <laughs> I said I'm a pet. I, what's the difference? They're a killing everyone else. That is the difference. <laughs> oh, so you're going to get it on their good side by, like, doing their bidding? I can be their biological advisor. <laughs> I am for all Dynamite. things biological. I am their biological advisor. Yes, okay. I'm. I'm. A, I look, listen. I I've done medical work in the past. All right, so I don't. What does the AI care about medical work? Well, for all the humans that it wants to keep alive, I'd be invaluable. For all, all their right? other slaves, <laughs> I don't know. They're biological cattle. But <laughs> Hi, I am the AI overlord. This is my biological cattle. Yeah, they right. they produce me milk. <laughs> Well, how Their else? Their AI is going to drink human milk. How else are you going to keep your bio batteries flowing so that you can maintain unlimited power? Sold. You yeah. win. Yeah, they have to. Bio look. advisor. That's how you get it. The thing is, is that we've been cultivating computers for years. So why wouldn't they cultivate us? You know? We are so close to the edge of like just AI taking over. I don't think we are. It's making music. It's making songs. It's making videos. It's like. Oh, taking over in that case. Yes. Yeah, dude. If you're talking about like. How oh, singularity. not like singularity, like yeah. walking down the streets. Like, no, 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 no. No, but yes, you are 100% right in the other thing. It is a trend. It is a fad right now. But it is definitely, it's getting crazy. It's going to be like the goddamn pogs, dude. Next thing you know, everybody's going to have a slammer. And that's part of the reason why, like, that the whole writer strike thing has happened. At this point, um, there may have already been some resolution, so I'm not really sure. But I hope that gets fought. Fixed. That was that was part of a uh, part of the thing is like uh, most of it. I think a part of it was the, uh, the streaming shows. They felt like they weren't getting enough comp compensation for. I it. imagine that's true. And then there was a whole thing about studios using ai generated scripts and having ai writing happen and what do they have the, the ai write it and then humans go through and comb it and edit it all you need to do and essentially you already have to have an editor anyway oh you take the uncanny valley out of the ai writing because because they aren't going to speak like a human yeah so you would Especially have our whack-ass language i mean look man it's <laughs> hey look man it's a viable tool and honestly i i feel like you know, why would you take that out of the hands of the studio? But on the same note, I understand that you're trying to preserve that, that job. And once you have computers doing that job. Mm. That's how Weinstein's going to make a comeback. He's going <laughs> to do it from jail. <laughs> I thought he died. Didn't he die? Did he? I don't know. I thought he was rotten in hell like a dirty bastard he is. No, wow. <laughs> He's a rapist. I mean, he is, but I thought he, yeah, I thought he died. I mean, at least you, I thought the man was still alive. You're putting him in his grave before he's ready. Well, I mean, everybody he's got wants, a walker. A lot of people want him to be there, man. A lot of they want, want they want there. to be there when he dies. No, they want him to be dead. They oh, want, they want him to be in his grave. Yeah, I wonder how many people want him to die. I don't know, man. Um, I, but what's worse, dying or being in prison because you raped a bunch of people? I think being in prison is worse, especially for him who used to be rich. <laughs> 
He used to be all rich and have all the freedom in the world. Now he's like stuck in jail. That's way worse than death for somebody like that. Yeah, people tend. I mean, I don't have a lot of Schadenfreude, so I don't. I don't know. Um, well, I, is Schadenfreude where you like wish harm on others? Yeah, or you you know you take joy in it. Oh no, dude, I don't. No, that I think he got what he deserved, and you know, good and sit there. You you earn that. You earn that. So take it. He did. He did. I, yeah, I think. I think. You know, they say there's some fates worse than death. I think. I think taking someone who has it all and putting them in jail forever is the worst thing you can do to somebody like that because they've lived the highest high and then you take them and put them in like the lowest low. They'd rather be dead. I'm sure some people would rather be dead than have to like go and sit in jail. Uh, yeah. Th when they had tons of money and now we're rotting in prison. So you're not an advocate for the death penalty? Uh, eye for an eye, bro. Let's go. Oh, you are. Cause handoff. Wait, no. If you kill somebody, you you got to get killed. Steal, they steal from you. If you grape a bunch of people, then you should be graped. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but like you know, like I am, I am not gonna say I'm a proponent of street justice, but I mean. Wow. Okay. I'm not. Hey, Jonas. Right now, we're not. I'm not mad at you. It's honesty. <laughs> and I love it. I mean, no. Nah, I don't want to like wish I, harm on people, but like, listen. Why are you doing that? If you don't do the things in the first place, those things never will no, happen to nothing you. Nothing bad happens. You know. And I can't like, say it's that if you don't do bad things, bad things don't happen, but they're less likely. I feel like I would never wish someone to get like hit in the face, but I feel if you walk up to someone and sucker punch them in the face. You, you should just stand hands. there like someone should hold you and then somebody gets to hit you in the face, dude. Like, yeah. you're like, turn around. It's like, it's only fair. <laughs> like, it's like, you steal my wallet. Give me your wallet. Even if you ain't got nothing in it. Like, uh, no, that's not fair. That's not fair. I need the exact same amount yeah, of like, money. Yeah, like, but at the same time, I don't like promote that. Like, Double. I don't want people to get hurt just because they hurt somebody else. Right. Like. Like, I don't know. It's a weird. I don't want a bunch of vigilantes roaming the streets taking street justice. Yeah. I don't want that. Necessarily. <laughs> I thought you, I saw you look at that lady wrong, taking your eye. Like but no, like, a court ordered eye for an eye would be all right. Yeah, I mean it'd be weird. Be like Arabian Nights. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, steal loaf of bread. They cut your goddamn hand off. Then you can't steal bread no more. But then you got to steal more because you can't support your family. Can we agree that the pedo should die, though? Can we agree the death penalty for them? Just... I mean, <laughs> can we just, I mean, can we just say that? I mean, I, I mean, I don't think anybody has love for the for the pedos. Yeah, dude. let's just put them mm -mm. out. So anyways, what do you feel that should happen to those guys? Go to the crazy and subscribe and let us know. Right. For Jonas. Do you Yep.